Hi, I'm Lisa with Unlimited Book Reviews, and today's review is for Beyond the Absurd. Short stories here. You can see the funky cover there. It's pretty wild. A little bit of everything there, but it is um, a compilation of short stories, so that cover kind of makes sense. The stats on this book, it's under Short Story Suspense, and I couldn't really find a current ranking on Amazon. I've been sent this a little while ago, but um, I took the information for the reviews and that sort of thing off of Goodreads, and I've contacted the author to see where this is at on Amazon. There is another one of his books for short stories there, and I wasn't sure if it's the same. It's not in a series or anything like that, so that's not applicable, but I wasn't really able to tell you actual page count on it. I would say right around 100 pages. So the main characters, there really aren't any in this because every short story is different, um, so there's no certain person with a name that I can give you. All of the short stories are written in first person. So it's kind of interesting because you're moving through it in first person. The book description. Beyond the Absurd is a book for everyone who is interested in deep soul horizons and grotesque abyss of the absurd. This book contains very short stories in genres absurd, dystopia, fantasy, fiction, post-apocalyptic, and grotesque. In my work, there is a strange viewpoint about human existence, imagination, and mind. I try to describe absurdity of the world and life, and also to find some deep, invisible connections in the flow of time. So it's pretty funky. So the storyline in this book, very original, definitely. There is some suspense. You're kind of waiting to see what's happening. And then the humor, there's a little bit in there. Drama and conflict, yes. Mystery, yes. And a little bit of action, definitely. So it is very good. If you're into short stories that are kind of obscure, this is definitely your author, Alexander Tomov, which I probably butchered his name. I would say it was an intermediate style as far as the writing goes, and I think that does have some of the translation difficulties because I don't believe they were originally written in English, but um, <clears throat> they've been translated very well with very few typos and no weird inconsistencies, only the inconsistency that the, the, the genre really has. Um, you are left hanging. they are short stories that kind of cut off and he, he has two books in Kindle Unlimited right now. Did I like it? Yeah, I definitely thought it was okay moving into good. It was funky. If this is your thing, this is a good book for it. I haven't read a lot of short stories in the past 10 years of my life, but I do like them and I thought this was good the way they were done. Quotes highlighted by the readers, there weren't any, so I picked my own. Every cigarette is another nail in the coffin, but so is every day in one's life. I'd never heard that before, but very good. Everyone makes mistakes when they're young, absolutely everyone, but the most important thing is how one changes after that and what one eventually does with his life, isn't it? So that was a good one. You'll remember everything, but only as a set of images, as fiction the emotions of the memories that haunt you in the present and determine your future will burn away in the flames once and for all. Just very poetic lines, definitely funky, talking about everything from time travel to death. Goodreads ratings, 18 ratings. He has a 3.61 out of 5, and I would say that his lower ratings are from people not really appreciating the style. Kelly says, exhibits an unapologetic fascination with depth and explores the ways in which people attempt to control, negotiate with, deny, and accept what is most often considered the evil side of human nature. I agree. G.R. Holton says, I read the original text and through the story, thought the stories were 
very good. Thank you, Alexander, for a very cool read. And then one of our low ones kind of capped it up like this. Two stars by Hallie, who says, After reading all the stories, I found no connecting link between the stories. They were sort of cryptic, and the authentic meaning is hard to interpret as it is obscure. The stories were a little weird, and particularly the endings were abrupt, which did not let me shower a feeling of tangibility over it. So that is the style, and it's different, and it's cool. And it reminds me almost like of the way Alfred Hitchcock used to just, psh, it's over, at the end. Think what you may, determine what you may about the story. So if you like that, this is the book for you. Definitely go out and check it out. Leave me some comments below of what you thought. Um, don't forget to subscribe and like my video while you're here. Thank you for making it to my YouTube site and for stopping by.